I'd say overall I've had probably 70% improvement, um, maybe a little more. Some days it's almost 100%, it's probably 90%. And we've, we've, we've made friends with everyone, everyone's been super, super helpful. Can you please tell me uh, what's your name, uh, where you're from, uh, and what brought you to the clinic? So my name's Joe, uh, from the UK. And I kind of looked into stem cell therapy about three years ago. Um, I had a had an injury to my back. Um, I actually had bilateral breaks. Um, I also had some degenerative disc disease, um, a couple of herniated discs as well. <clears throat> so I'd looked into it for, for quite a while. And then after sort of two operations and not getting out of the operation sort of what I wanted, um, that's sort of what made me sort of look into, into stem cells. Um, and then following, I don't know, maybe I say eight, nine months after, after my second surgery, uh, I started to get some pretty bad problems with sort of nerve pain in my legs uh, or sort of numbness, tingling, that sort of thing. Um, I also had a, a little bit in my arms, also in my torso. Um, so that's when I started to sort of really consider it. And I ended up coming for the first time to Belgrade in January. January 2023? Yep. yep. Uh -huh. uh, have you tried uh, something additional, I mean, something extra except surgery to try to cope with the symptoms, with the condition? Um, I've had, um, I mean, not, not really. I had certain medications, so I, I, I took a sort of a nerve, um, it was a type of nerve painkiller, uh, which didn't really do anything. Also made me feel quite, quite sick. Um, that's really the only thing that I'd tried. Um, but it, with regards to my back, the pain was not too bad, um, but it certainly sort of inhibited my ability to play sports. How symptoms are manifested during a regular day? How, how was it? Um, it was definitely worse when I was sat down. Uh, it was something that, you know, if, if, I was, if I was playing sport, Play football quite regular um, it would probably take me about a week to recover from a game of football and my back would be pretty sore for yeah for, for about a week um, and often after doing some sort of intense exercise i'd start getting again the, the the sort of numbness in my leg in both my legs or even just from being sat down so if i sat down for after a couple of minutes it would start coming on it would get worse and worse and start sort of traveling up my legs um, and that lasted i mean that sort of got progressively worse over the space of yeah almost a year and how did you come up with the idea to try stem cells um it's just i, I ended up hearing about it on i guess just a, a a podcast that i was listening to probably again three maybe four years ago um, and then I start sort of really looking into it and I, I literally phoned, I mean, almost every clinic around the world and I was just looking at, looking at research papers. I was, you know, just trying to do as much, um, you know, as much research as I could just to see what was sort of best. And I think the other options, um, the other options that were given to me in the UK were not they, they just weren't for me, like having another fusion or having having a spinal fusion or um, even having the metal work that I have in there now taken out. I mean, they're big operations. I didn't really want to want to go through those. What have you seen or heard about Swiss Medica that you decided to try Swiss Medica? There was a few different things. Um, I think one, one sort of big reason is they didn't like oversell it to me as in you know you will come you'll get treatment and you'll be a hundred percent in a couple of weeks so it, it, it wasn't oversell i mean I, I rang a lot of clinics and it was very much like oh you come here you'll be fixed straight away it's they, they were just really 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 promising i'm not saying swiss medical weren't promising but they were kind of reserved about it which i actually liked because i think it it set the expectations um and, and also the, the, the treatment program that was that was offered, it was lengthy. I mean, I was here the first time I was here for 10 days. Um, and obviously with the sort of everything that was uh, in, included, the sheer amount of um, amount of treatment, the other things that were offered, just like the, um, you know, we have the sort of daily 
vitamin IVs and whatnot, just things to sort of prep yourself for stem cell therapy. Obviously, the physio that's in that's included, all of the, all of that sort of um, just everything that also surrounds the therapy itself. That was sort of a big uh, a big reason that um, that I chose. And I mean, like I said, I called sort of I don't know, maybe close to a hundred clinics and had you know, relatively extensive talks with them. Um, and I'd just taken everything into consideration and price as well. Um, so a bit, there was many reasons. And what, what about, you mentioned about expectations. What were your expectations before coming to the clinic? Probably uh, what doctors told you. And probably you had uh, different expectations apart of what doctor told you about the expectation. <laughs> what should you expect, I mean? Yeah, I, I think going into it, to be honest, for me personally, I was kind of just hoping for any improvement. Um, if I if I could have got, it, it was driving me really really mad. So it was bothering me nonstop. Um, it was kind of on my mind, sort of twenty four seven. So my initial goal was just to get it, just reduce it to the point where it's not on my mind twenty four seven, and anything else was kind of like a bonus. I think at first when I was looking into it, I was obviously expecting um, sort of massive results when I was looking into sort of, you know, all these people talking about stem cell therapy. Um, but there were, there were things that have happened that I've not, that I wasn't expecting that I've been really, really pleased with. For um, instance? Yeah. So for example, um, like the, the sort of pain in my back, I said about sort of taking a week to recover from football. Um, I actually wasn't too too bothered about the I didn't think I was too bothered about the pain in my back uh, it wasn't that bad I mean I'd had back pain for years and it didn't really um, you know I at that point I was just like all right I'll, I'll, I'll rest for a few days and then and then play again but since I've had since I had the first therapy in January I've been able to play probably three times a week and also I've been doing sort of climbing other activities as well and for the most part, there's only been one instance in the past six months where I've had to take uh, maybe a week, a week off. But other than that, I've been basically playing non-stop. And things like, for example, my just overall fitness has improved a lot. Um, what do you mean by fitness? I just mean like sort of when, when playing sports, not getting out of breath so easy, just just in general feel way 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 fitter probably due to the ivs i think maybe a reduction in pain and also the ivs as well um but my sort of overall overall fitness has been improved a lot and that's something that i wasn't really expecting and what kind of stem cells have you got here so i've had in january um in january i had um i had my low back treated with uh, placenta cells. Um, I also had IVs of placenta and umbilical cord. And then in January, I had a bone marrow extraction for my follow-up visit. So, um, I mean, that was a relatively, uh, it wasn't comfortable procedure, but it wasn't that bad. It lasted maybe 40 minutes in total. So I had the bone marrow extraction. Um, and then when I returned in April, um, I had everything done with bone marrow. So I had, um, yeah, I had uh, another application into my lower back and IVs as well with my own, my own bone marrow. And sorry, I also had exosomes on both, both trips as well. And then this time around, uh, I've had everything. <laughs> I've had umbilical cord, placenta and bone marrow. Um, so I've had all three IVs and I've had my uh, I had umbilical cord in my whole spine, so I had every every I had paravertebral injections at every level from my neck to my to my lower back, and even my SI joints as well. That was yesterday, so I'm a little bit sore today. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I had that I had that done yesterday, um, which was it was fine. It didn't it didn't last too long. Uh, probably would you like to say something additional about improvements because it's your thought coming right? It's yeah. your thought time in the clinic, uh, apart that uh, the thing that you mentioned about fitness and uh, uh, energy level and uh, uh, ability to play football three times per week, 
in a row, in a row, right? Or just, okay, three times per week. Yeah. Something else, you feel? Um, I think, well, part of, my, part of my reason for coming back was obviously to get improvements in my legs, which I've had, I'd say overall, I've had probably 70% improvement, um, maybe a little more. Some days it's almost 100%, it's probably 90%. Some days it's a little bit worse, it just depends. Um, but the, 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 the benefits that I've had, um, sort of just from a metabolic standpoint, um, even sort of strength in general, um, that's also been, that's also been improved. So my reasons for coming back were not necessarily to, you know, just to get more, more and more treatment, but the, the, the benefits that I've had from the first one, I kind of want to just keep, you know, keep on top of it. And also sort of the, the, my interest in, anti-aging um, and you know I mean that's a I guess another another story but that that whole side of you know longevity and, and, and all of that is something that I'm interested in so that's that was another reason for um, for coming back have you got any concerns before coming uh, for the first time to the clinic yeah I mean I guess I'm sure most people are probably a little bit apprehensive beforehand um, to be honest I was only a little bit. I mean, I'd been through two pretty bad surgeries and I was, I was kind of like, I was actually really looking forward to it. I was a little bit sort of, you know, I didn't really know what to expect, um, which I think is probably the same, same for everyone. Um, but I mean, within, you know, within an hour of arriving, everyone makes you sort of feel like, like you're at home. I mean, everyone's obviously super friendly, um, get on with everyone, the doctors, nurses, kitchen stuff everyone's been fantastic uh, and how about stem cells did you were you afraid to try stem cells because there are a lot of information in the internet like it was it co it could cause a, some kind of damage it was it could cause a cancer and stuff like that I think um, no I mean from what I've looked into the um, like mesenchymal stem cells don't have those properties I know there's been a lot of controversy around sort of embryonic stem cells and whatnot which is you know Swiss Medica don't use them I don't, I don't think they're really widely used anymore at all because I know there's a lot of controversy there um, but no from the research that I'd looked into with MSCs that had been uh, I'd struggled to find any sort of negative negative results. I mean, actually some of the results I'd seen were almost unbelievable. Like you almost couldn't believe that that, that was possible. Um, so from the stem cell side, I wasn't really nervous, no. What can, kind of advice can you give to people who probably um, right now on the place when you uh, decided to, to whether you should try stem cells or not? What, 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 what advice can you give to them? Probably even um, to people who has similar similar condition to you. Yeah, I would say I guess it depends what you have available in your in your country as well. Um, I would say just weigh up your options. I mean, if I could go back in time, I, I would have if I could have found a way to not do those surgeries, I would have I would have done that. I think in retrospect, I wish I'd have come here beforehand. Um, and at least see if there was any possibility of, of of delaying the surgery or at least come directly after I'd had the surgery to sort of help improve the recovery. My case was a little bit different because I actually had breaks in my back, which is a little bit different. Um, but I would just say weigh up your options, you know, from what I've seen and experience, I don't think the spine surgery is, it's not that, um, you know, the, Quite often, you know, people don't have a great success. I don't think it has overall a, a great, so at least long-term success rate. Um, I mean, I'm only 25, so I didn't really want to, um, certainly now I don't want to take another risk to have a sort of a major surgery that's going to leave me potentially, you know, get worse sort of over time for, you know, the rest of my life. So I would just say weigh up your options and um, yeah, definitely speak speak to the doctors. Um, I think the the testimonials and, and whatnot that are posted online are really useful. I would also say look into the research. I think a lot of people just tend to listen to what other people are saying and you know, maybe call call a clinic and take everything that they say um, as being true. But I would say just to sort of make yourself feel better, just look into the research. I mean, you can go on sort of PubMed and, and read 
many research papers, you know, just look at your condition and, and, and have a look at, yeah, have a look at the research. Uh, probably would like to say something additionally, you feel free to say anything you want. Yeah, I would just say that in general, it's been a really good experience. I mean, even, uh, I mean, not that this would necessarily be a reason for, for, for coming back, but everyone's made me feel like really, really at home. Like, um, I end up coming with one of my friends and we've, we've, We've made friends with everyone. Everyone's been super, super helpful, um, and yeah, I just feel like they've always sort of put, yeah, put me first. You know, made sure that they've always sort of got my best interest, which is really, really important. Um, and yeah, it's a fantastic place. Also, I would say I wasn't sure what to expect with Belgrade and you know Serbia in general, um, but actually, it's really, really surprised me. Uh, the, the people are amazing. The place is really, really good. Um, and yeah, there's lots to do. I mean, we've not been, we've not been bored. You know, I'm here from maybe nine in the morning most days until sort of lunchtime, and then have lunch, and then you're free to, free to sort of explore, do do whatever you want, um, which has been good. So, I guess that's been a bonus. <laughs> yeah, and what do you like the most about Serbia? The people. I would say the people. Honestly, the people have been so so helpful. Um, I mean. Just everywhere you go, everyone seems to just want to help. Um, I mean, in the clinic and even even outside the clinic, everywhere, everywhere everyone's been yeah, everyone's been really really nice. I know there's some great areas of, uh, of of Serbia. I mean, we went to Novi Sad as well, um, which was a, a great city, I guess. But it's only an hour away. Um, I think even now there's a, a train that you can get in what 35 minutes or something. So probably worth the trip if you've got an afternoon free. <laughs>